Hello and welcome to Cliff Reviews Art House. This time I'm reviewing the film Galliano High and Low, directed by Kevin MacDonald. So this documentary serves several functions, I think. Firstly, it's a documentary about a very talented designer. It's not just about fashion. He wasn't just a fashion designer. It's about contemporary art. He was a real artist. His aesthetic was kind of punk, theatrical, avant-garde art. The documentary is really entertaining. It's en inspiring and exciting. It, he was also a provocative character. He's a bit of a diva. He's a bit childish and immature, but he was part of a revolution in fashion with these outsiders coming into the industry. I think the it, it sits nicely, this documentary, alongside the 2018 McQueen documentary, because I think there's some comparisons between the two of them, and they're both very entertaining. So much of the film is about the highs of Galliano's career. However, in 2011, his career bombed when a film of him abusing people with anti-Semitic and racist remarks went viral on the internet. There was more than one video. His career went from the very, very highest highs to complete dev devastation. Now, for many, his comments are so disgusting, and they are disgusting, let's be clear about that, that there's no way that he could ever come back to it. And I have the feeling that a significant role of the documentary, at least in terms of Galliano clearly fully cooperating with, with the documentary, is an attempt to restore his reputation and career. And the documentary is successful in allowing him to explain, to apologise. We learn about the grip of alcoholism and other addictions that clearly affected him. It gives him an opportunity to explain himself. But I do think it's not just a whitewash. We also get interviews with the victims. It doesn't hold back from giving us all sides of the story. There's plenty of input from people who can't forgive him. I think McDonald did a really good job here. He's presenting all of the information in a very balanced way and I'm kind of left to decide. What does work well, I think, and what was important is that the documentary opens with the anti the video showing uh, Galliano saying the the anti-Semitic remarks. I think it's the only thing you can start with. It's right to have this at the beginning. In terms of the style of the documentary, it was made in a very entertaining style. Galliano is the narrator, really. He speaks for most of the film. And obviously there is an extent to which this is stage managed. But mostly I did find this authentic. He comes across well. It doesn't feel staged. It, it does feel natural. Galliano is theatrical. He is an actor. He is a showman. So there's always a risk that he's acting. I didn't know much about Galliano, although I do think I'd seen the um, clips when they went viral. Um, but overall, I think that, you know, we see a lot of Galliano's positive characteristics. And, and to some extent, he did charm me despite these despicable views that he expressed at the start of the film. The documentary I don't think is making excuses for him but it does give us a lot of background on his addiction. Also we learn about childhood abuse, the, pr the prejudice from his father from, for being gay and when he talks about this it does feel really authentic. I like how he describes that his creativity comes out of trauma and the need to escape. This all rings true to me. Another thing I really liked in this documentary was how popular he is. In his first New York show, which was run on a tight budget, all of these famous models came and worked for, for him for free. It just shows how popular he was. So. You know, as with most situations, despite his despicable behaviour, 
it's complex. There's always more to a person than their worst characteristics. In the end, this is much more than a fashion documentary. It's about addiction. It's about forgiveness. Some people just can't forgive him. Many, we're told that many Jewish people that he tried to meet afterwards refused to meet him. There was a rabbi, a Holocaust educator, that spent a lot of time with him and gave him resources and educated him really on the, on the Holocaust. Galliano is apologetic. And as I say earlier, it's not clear if it's genuine because he is such a showman. But on the whole, I did feel he was authentic and I did feel he deserves forgiveness as, I, as, as he does seem to be really sorry. But the good thing about the documentary is whichever way you go on him, it doesn't leave you totally comfortable, whatever you decide. In the end, I think it's a really interesting discussion on the kind of complexities of forgiveness. I really like this about this documentary. So the documentary does a good job of portraying his amazing and inspirational career in an entertaining way. But it also serves another function in terms of considering the big heavy issues such as addiction, compassion and forgiveness. I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.